Welcome back to my channel and um, today I'm going to actually be talking a little bit about um, linking or bridging the dream world with your day-to-day -day living and your awareness. Um, and I would like to link this in with how the dream world um, is such a vital thing in the world um, in which you live and also in the world that you perceive. Um, without the dream world, without linking it to day-to-day -day existence, um, you are missing literally a huge part of your world because the dreaming world is linked indirectly to your awareness. Now, some people think the dreams are just things that are suppressed in the day. And yes, that's possible as well. Um, it's things that we um, subconsciously suppress and keep under control or things that obsess us or things that are coming from other um, realities that are in our dreams. Um, dr the dream world links to parallel realities, to multidimensional realities, to other worlds. They are portals going inward. If we do not accept the dream world as anything except um, something fictional. We are literally not just cutting off a whole part of our awareness, but also um, a, a portal or a way into unknown or unseen realms of our own um, inner self. So it's amazing to me that people are still in denial or don't pay attention to any of the dreams. Um, we are in crisis on the planet when it comes to um, investigating our own psyche, going into the depths of it, um, and not living so shallow, but going into the parts of ourselves that we suppress. They say that if we are living a life that is full, we really don't have any dreams, really, because we're living it all right now in the moment um, but obviously a lot of us do dream uh, and have different types of experiences and they're getting more and more um, um, you know unusual because a lot of people are connecting with other realms other realities and are doing their work that they need to be doing chasing up the dreams and thank goodness we have a huge spiritual community um, all over the internet that helps us along as we continue to look and investigate how our day-to-day -day life, our, the synchronicities, the things that we see are linked intimately into the dream world. And as we progress into 5D living, which is living with much more awareness, we begin to see how our day-to-day -day world links so much into... Um, uh, like a dreamlike environment so our world can be a dreamlike environment i have um people who live in houses that represent their wombs or um we have people who are dealing with um things that are directly reflecting their inner state their inner being where you work reflects your inner being where you live what you do what you eat everything is an extension of the inner being and the dream world often can help you along in investigating yourself, finding patterns. Some people have repeat dream patterns that they need to look into. Um, things like um, being consumed um, in, in a certain way. or um, But everything links into the day-to-day -day world that in which we live. So um, I always... Um, investigate dreams that for example if I'm recapitulating which is trying to bring back energy that I've wasted during the day or I've wasted during an emotional time and I do my recapping which is bringing back energy that's been dispersed into the body I tend to have dreams where I am going to the toilet or expelling something or I am dreams that I'm going to the bathroom or um, urinating or something to do with the toilet, uh, expelling things, exhaust fumes, things like that tell me in the dream that what I've been doing in the day-to-day -day world has been working. Um, we often can peer into people um, as well. So if there's bad people conversing about us or um, we see people in the dream Sometimes it doesn't mean what we think it means. Sometimes it does. So we really need to kind of peer into it. Your dream world is everything. It is the link and the bridge to day-to-day -day living and dreamlike, the dreamlike state that our world is becoming. 
our world is beginning to take on the qualities of the dream and there are countless examples of it happening everywhere. Uh, this is something that can never be suppressed by the system and can never be denied because more and more people are having these experiences. So our world that in which we live can help us if we are tuned into it and can actually read the signs of what things mean. If you do see animals, for example, um, even pictures of the animals consistently, for example, if I'm seeing constantly seeing um, rabbits everywhere, pictures or lions everywhere, these are all indications of something. Now, if I start seeing them in the dream world as well, it's obvious, it's becoming quite obvious about what it is. Um, so symbolism, um, and googling symbols is not always enough anymore or dream dictionaries they really um, have symbols have significance in our day-to-day -day life as well as in our um, personal dreaming world um, we just need to start making our own symbolic connections and what it means to us on um, a deeper level different symbols symbolize uh, many things and often they don't mean the same thing for everybody so to begin we need to refocus on dreaming you must have heard a lot of people say this um, keeping a dream journal or focusing the attention on the dream that you have at night um, but i often record my dreams the dreamlike state in the day things that happen in the daytime are often very significant as well and one of the big things is seeing repeated numbers like um, 333111 and things like that that everybody has been noticing more and more happening these are the synchronicities that we're looking for but um, the universe is so playful and funny and gives us the hints all the time uh, everyone knows that um, I love um, I connect through the crow feathers which I'm all constantly picking up in terror because I never know what will come from the universe and the universe is an indifferent power that tests you and tests the warrior spirit within you so you are always looking for gaps in your awareness or in your psyche um, unless of course you aren't on the warrior path and then that's different you can go back to sleep but for the people who are on the path to greater understanding, awareness, we are um, sharp, alert, and taking in everything as it comes. We need that clarity and we need to be able to understand why these things are appearing in our reality. Sometimes they don't mean anything um, and other times we need to really look into them, especially if they're repetitive and um, especially if... Uh, you are um, having intense dreams at night um, you really need to take a look sometimes dreams have to do with the physical body as well such as car symbols symbols of the car are for me the physical body it's directly connected so um, there are just different ways to interpret things it's true and this is why it's important to keep track of your own symbolism and start bridging the unconscious with the conscious and do your own shadow work. Chase yourself and find out why you are feeling the way you are feeling. You should really be um, in a state of either um, a good feeling, good state, um, or a neutral state. So uh, there shouldn't be any extreme emotions really unless something happens and then you go through the process. But other than that, your emotions should be well balanced and that comes from scrutinizing, looking and being, uh, you know, careful with how you interpret. And um, I often ask other people as well and post up my dreams and there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I can't see what's in front of me. So uh, this is our the world of the dream and why it's so important. And I'm shocked that people still think that it's just fantasy or it doesn't mean anything. I mean, how closed off can you possibly be to believe that? It's shocking. How uh, 1D can you be? And I can't even believe that. So um, especially considering my dreams have linked me to so many, so many directions um, between warnings and um, amazing insights to dream is to be f fully alive, not just half alive, believing that just your day to day life is all that there is. I, it's unbelievable.